We're at the uh, St. Paul downtown airport and our project uh, was to reconstruct the uh, intersection of runway 1331 and 1432. It needed to be reconstructed because the, the pavement had just reached the end of its useful life. The project was really important and had a big impact because it's the intersection of the two runways so both runways were impacted during construction. The runway portion of the construction project was one month so it was a very tight timeline for the amount of work that was done and then following the runway reconstruction there was taxiway reconstruction, similar timeline um, in short for the amount of work that was done. With the two runways we have, 1432 is our primary or heavy lifter. So having 1432 down for any given length of time is very detrimental to the business here at the airport. So in the project we built in a displaced threshold which allowed us to keep the uh, airfield operational still for the heavy use it has. Basically the two runways themselves are actually physically connected with pavement and we removed that pavement and we also removed some very uh, complex connecting uh, taxiway systems and simplified it to make it a safer operation for the airport users. Throughout the project I think it was, there was moments that were stressful and everything, but it was also really exciting, just so much activity, so many different things going on. Um, we had a lot of different contractors, a lot of trucks, just a lot of personnel. It was just an exciting project to see so much happening at once. Probably one of the more active airports in the MAX system, and our clients are very important to the economy of the Twin Cities. And so keeping it as, as an operational asset, uh, especially with the yeah. geographical and geological conditions we deal with on a yearly basis with the river and uh, snow and sleet and hail and everything else goes with it, I think it's a tremendous asset to, uh, to keep operating and to keep people like SEH engaged and making it uh, one of the better airports in the Twin Cities area.